Fuck you, Laura. Laura. God damn it, Laura. <laughs> Chufal Foofer, unless you were talking about like last week. Because all I went that's, today. That's to spit, chat. Oh, it was a damn Ah, uh, damn bullganger. <laughs> Yeah, I went to Very the gym good. and I went to the post office. That was all I went today. All, all right, right. So uh, where where would uh, where would you like to go, Brian? Colin, where do you think we should go? We went or was to it Brian's first. Roger Brian's. Brian's. Yeah. Roger Brian's. Uh, Miss Brian's. Where would you like to go? Fight her back. Laura said fight her um, back. <clears throat> Maybe. I don't know. Dan. What? 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 What do you think? What are you thinking? Um, I mean, I don't really know the stats all that well, so I would pick the manor just because I don't know. I don't, I don't know stats. I don't know who we're necessarily <laughs> even going for. Yeah, me either. Let's just go to the manor because why not? Y'all right. want to go to the manor? No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Y'all don't okay, want to go to the manor? Well, no, because didn't you guys go to the manor last turn? Yeah, but that doesn't mean we're not going to go again. Okay, I was going to say, Dan, do you want to just wander off into the and get into an adventure? Or should we go to the to the spooky Scooby-Doo house? Oh, I don't care. Hi, Fapple. Four twenty. Let's go to this. What up, Fapple? Four twenty. Let's go to the Spooky Scooby Doo a, House for that's Fapple. Four twenty. So you're going to the man. woods? No, we're yeah, going to the Spooky Scooby Doo House. house. Spooky Scooby Doo spooky. House. Fapple. Manor. Whatever. That day. We already we know these ones skip. offhand, Daniel. I, know, I, I was gonna skip it. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, honey. Please continue. Well, excuse me. Afterwards, you're searching for haunted artifacts to gift your least favorite cousins when you find Demian. Gowering the rooms, looking for something. Fox says, if Dan has to choose between two doors, it would be the Dan Lee Parable. Very of, good, course, Fox. of course it would. And I, how did, and how did, I would pick the right door, goddamn. How did that not come up when we were espouting all of our puns? I don't know. And We were so focused on Hey, hey guys. What? what? I, I, I'm sorry. Just give me one more minute. Oh, I'll read this slowly then, Nick. Oh. Hey, hey, noob, did you get an anonymous love letter from someone telling you to meet them at the manor for some hot makeouts, too? Doesn't his mask look like that thingy in SpongeBob, though? You know no, what I'm it looks about? exactly like Damien's face. What are you talking about? <clears throat> that's Wait, true. what mask? Oh, that's not a mask? I don't I don't see any mask. No, it's just the regular old Damien. Oh. It has been a minute since we played this, huh? Keep scanning. Yeah, well, Daniel's out here forgetting what the characters look like and shit. Jesus. I thought Damien was green. Pseudo says, wait a while at the start and it becomes a Stanley starable. Hee <laughs> hee. True. Oh, or fine, if, if we you started find a costume playing... just like that and put it on, you have the Stanley wearable. Oh, if you... LG, you don't have to apologize for being late. You don't if know you what's started, if no, you started, you have to apologize stream... for being late. Kyle, if you started the stream wearing basically nothing, would it be the Stanley barely bearable? It would. <laughs> Tweet out the links in the stream is Stanley shareable. You're goddamn right it is. Laura's Plank. our Twitter master, so that's on her. <laughs> I'm not sure this is the, the stream I want to share, though. Everything's gone wrong. <laughs> yeah, in case no, you're is, just this tuning is exact, in. No, we want everyone to, who likes us to watch this Wait, stream. Can, you they... know what? Since we're playing Monster Porm, or pro Porm, Porm. Porm, and everything is ass backwards. We decided that we're not going to stream on Discord tonight. We're using our audio on Discord, and we're streaming from Google Meets. <laughs> Monster Postal Four. Yeah, we had to turn off the captions, or else the game would shut down. Right. <clears throat> yeah, we're also just waiting for Nick to finish making our pizza, and then we can continue to yell at the. Was say making out with his dog. I was going to be very concerned. I mean, what Nick does in his house is his business. Say you done a good job there, Daniel. E. Good job there, Daniel. Good job. <clears throat> Look at all the attention I'm getting in the chat today. It's so nice. Yeah, I really hate it. Everyone I stop it. talking to Dan. Chat, stop validating Daniel. <clears throat> I got a voice need tonight it. for now, which is good because I'll keep yelling. Everyone say good job to Laura. <clears throat> for, Everyone say yeah. bad job, Daniel. Mm hmm. <laughs> Yes, Google Meets do have the meets. That's why Google is sponsored by Arby's. They have. What's the right way? Go to Arby's. The meets. <laughs> Get the Go meat to back. Arby's. Oh, Go to Arby's. <clears throat> obtain food and also immediately obtain horrifying diarrhea. Yeah, if you actually, if you use, if you go in the store and use the code Best Buds Kyle, you'll get 3% off your purchase, but there's nowhere to enter. You literally just have to go up and say Best Buds Kyle. 
and then they'll guys be like, if you go up yeah. if you go up to the counter at at any arby's throughout the u.s and say uh kyle sent me they'll they'll give you the 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 cut the, that lay funny epic kyle burger and it's great oh is that the one that's filled with gushers and you tell him bunch? you tell him cactus kyle sent me and then you get yeah you get uh an arby's beef and cheddar minus the cheddar <laughs> Uh, duct taped to a meat mountain, and both of them are stuffed with fruit roll-ups and gushers. I can't deal with their their beef and cheddar because they use like creepy spray cheese, and it grosses me right there. It's out. literally the only delicious thing on the. It's so the good, guys! You goddamn psychopath. Oh, LG the said answer is you just get the meat mountain, and then you get another one. No, LG you don't get. Yeah, you never get, get the meat sure. mountain. Stop buying, telling people you, to buy meat mountain. You always get the meat mountain. God damn it. Hi, Nick. You're back, apparently. Yes. Since you clicked a button. I am back. N nah, I don't I think hope so. Arby's goes under tomorrow. No one at this camp but me is hot enough to get a sexy makeout invite from a secret admirer. Um, I know we already had a long pause, but I have to bring up something Colin just said that scares me. That said Jorb, and I wanted to rear end them and see if they are a Homestar Runner fan. That would have been funny. Do it. You won't. Um... It was more so that last time we put something on YouTube and we waited three months. Um, Colin said, you know, it'd be great if we had a giant fucking pandemic. I don't know if That's you guys true. remember this. Yeah, so don't Colin fuck with me. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> go to Arby's. And yeah, I did the mountain. China virus. What of it? You, you, you were the one mountain? you went over there and you created it. I did the Wuhan flu, flu for a funny meme. Yeah, <laughs> Colin has the ability to create pandemics for the lulls. Guys, can we get yeah. can we get hashtag Best Buds did coronavirus trending? I feel is like that, that might be the end and beginning of us. <sighs> yeah. Also, Meat Mountain is a is a menu item that's not listed, so it's hidden, and you just have to go. Oh yeah, you have to ask for <laughs> it, it specially. I, okay, huh? The only thing I You're can. telling me you wrote the letter? Don't be ridiculous. I know your brand of horny, Roger Bryant, and this ain't it. Chief. He hands you the Dan, your narrator, go. It says, meet me for hot kisses in red crayon. <laughs> Laura Written wrote on the it. back of the torn out title page of 101 sexy pranks to play on your horny friends. Also a book that Laura owns. You guys and can roast. hear her, right? Also, guys, you and Nikki, you, you and I both know it would be kisses with ease. Oh, 100%. Of an I. Yeah. All the reason I didn't blame Nick. Next. That's, that's, uh, Dan, could you read that really quick? I did. I oh, went, sorry, my mistake. I went, <sighs> well, if you're done reading it now, I'm off to win a game of tonsil hockey. Don't wait up for me. Just the face. I can't. <laughs> it's funny. Before you can warn Demian out of his excruciatingly obvious prank, he heads into the next room, only to get a net dropped on him. Uh, Daniel, I think it's pronounced Demian. Demian. Nice! What a classic prank master strike again! Oh That's god, Headphone, headphones users, turn it down right now. Heck oh, yeah! Hold on. The prank! Oh, he's gonna turn my volume down. Don't no, do it. no, I just backed away from my mic because I am also loud when I do poly. Dan, go! Okay. Heck yeah! The prank masters know how to put the Z in unexpected net trap, baby! <laughs> The hell are you <laughs> noobs going on about? Get out of here so me and my sexy anonymous lover can get way less anonymous. Uh, you understand you're trapped in a net right now, right, Demian? You've been pranked. It's Demion. Demion. God. Clairvoyant. That's a real name, by the way. I just want you to know that. Farts need Morseus, to learn how to that read. is actually what happens whenever I order Meat Mountain. <laughs> I get a look of horror from the person at, at the register it's, that can't it's, find we're not, it. It's and true. then the people behind the counter who are actually making it like have to look up a walkthrough on how to create it. Yep. And then they like glare at me. And oftentimes and, <laughs> they'll come up to me from behind the counter while I'm eating it just to find out who is eating this. Yeah, yeah and, and then they, they see Kyle and they're it. not surprised at all. And I'll, truthfully, I'll, when Kyle orders it, they usually like hover in a giant crowd in the back to watch it be created. It's very entertaining. Gentlemen, they can wrap it. It's great. Real quick. Yeah. 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 Because to de purposefully to derail the Arby's train. Okay. Uh, Shufflepoofer just sent I heart toothpaste girl and 
Yeah, Polly is toothpaste girl from now on. <laughs> you know what? I didn't I didn't get it until I looked at her head. I was like, okay. I can see oh, it. Oh god, it makes oh, for, okay, so also fuck you, Shuffle Poover. I'm you're getting a two week ban for that. Cause it's never gonna leave my head. No, I'm just Arby's, kidding. We're not gonna do that. We've got the meats. Best Arby's, part. we've got the toothpaste. We've got fucking Kyle. Oh, to add what on to that Arby's conversation up, really quick, um, if I could. Arby's Arby's ends up doing a cross promotion with Monster Prom because of this stream. Nicholas, go at, on. Uh, uh, as Laura. as I wanted to say, I wanted to add on to that by saying, hey gross, don't smooch my prank net. It's a fairly heirloom. At I would Laura, put in the uh, please change our the meat mountain to, video here, but I don't want girl. to. It's too old. <laughs> no, it's great. Do it. Well, he doesn't watch these oh. videos this far. It's already over. I'll put it in chat. Uh, Kyle, can you read that for me, honey? Or <laughs> wait, that's not even us. Fox says nope. when you go into Arby's and say Kyle sent me to execute one of your Pokemon. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> <not> <laughs> got him. Shufu Poofer, we love you. Go ahead, Daniel. <laughs> Too late. Damien is really going to town. Apparently, he's decided the net is his secret lover, since lovers come in all shapes and sizes down in hell. Whoa! Uh -huh. Damien! You really have your tongue all twisted up in that net! Are you trying to say you want to play tug of war? Give me the other end or I'll tug your- Oh god, my throat. <coughs> I don't want to play tug of war, Scott. I'm stuck. <laughs> With his mouth wide open like that, I can't. Oh god. Great. And now he's- now he really is trapped. You better figure out a way to free Demian's tongue from the net, or it'll never get trapped in your mouth. What should we do, Callan? Uh, we it should in. either bring in an expert surgeon to do a tongue transplant, freeing Demian in the pro, or remove the net with your own tongue. Um. Well, that's charming, I'm assuming. I would say either charming or bold, and the top one sounds like a smart thing to do, so yeah, let's remove that... let's 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 tongue fuck that net hole, baby. Tongue funk. <laughs> tongue funk your net hole. Yes, you've watched lots of YouTube videos on how to tie a cherry stem into a knot with your tongue. Oh how different can untying a knot in a net be with your tongue? Yes, this video that I'm assuming Kyle just posted is probably five years old. Yeah, you, just about. Before we had technology either, by the way. And for those of you, you watching on YouTube, video. you have to go search it, because Kyle doesn't know how to add it. You I smash could. your tongue. But I know they're getting rid of cards, so it won't help. Damien's tongue. It's slimy, wet, and sexy. Whoa, hey, I think it's working. <laughs> Maybe it's the net <laughs> that's making me say this. Roger Brains, <laughs> but... Oh, ha, ha, ha. It's Roger <laughs> Bryan's. Your tongues push back against each other. They Tongue touch stick. every inch of each other's mouths. Nice. Shuffle's angry that he heard tongue fuck, tongue fuck neck hole. That's what we say when we warm up our voices. Tongue fuck neck hole. Tongue fuck neck hole. Tongue fuck. You're tongue pretty fuck sure neck hole. Mommy made me match my M and M's. Tongue fuck neck hole. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You. Yeah. You're pretty so you're sure you can up. lick that little dangly thing that swing in the back of Damien's throat. <laughs> Finally, Demian's tongue is free, but he doesn't seem to be moving. Uh, yeah, I don't really know how to say this, but while you were getting my tongue unstuck, my dick kind of got stuck in the net. I don't want to talk about how. This prank has gotten sort of weird. Should we still be watching this, Polly? Oh, yeah, we should though is still be watching uh classic poly you managed to free demin's extra appendage with some serious finagling winku winku you gain one memory for the spank bank as well as plus two bold and plus one fun what i this? love getting plus two bold and plus one fun. <laughs> mommy milk i think i think the last one kyle milkers. so where do you want to go baby <laughs> Laura, that's um, <laughs> let's go. It's not to... a bad one, to be honest. Mommy milkers yeah, make money monthly. One. Mommy milkers make money monthly. Let's go to the woods. We have the highest chance of running into the coach or bears there. It's, bears. it's the modern version of mommy Good. made me match my. Oh, you my found it. Voice, my voice can take a break. <laughs> <laughs> Although it did even our smarts and boldness, which scares me. And fun. Oh, joy. 
There's nothing you like There's more no than being helpful, provided it is in turn helping you find your summer honey. So it's no surprise you find yourself aiding Scott in the collection of another scout badge. Wait, Nick, did you say honey? Honey. This stream is brought to you by <laughs> Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> when you're here, you're... Oh, right, boy, this hold the megaphone Getting right there! So I can scream at it and still the hands free for powerful gestures. <laughs> Let me know if you have any tips for being louder! I mean, really want this badge! Deep breath and... Dan's gonna pass out. It's gonna be Since funny. Since 1953, an 8.3 billion tons of plastic have been produced worldwide and only 9% are recycled! We should ask Dan to put a like, <laughs> towel or whatever in front of his mouth more often. This is pretty good. This is the best gimmick I've ever thought of! And I hate it because this is the only way he can do something without getting cooked out. Plastic kills millions of birds and animals a year, while well, poor air quality is a huge contributor to human fatalities. <laughs> oh, so that works me. so well. By the year 2050, <laughs> the amount of plastic <laughs> in the ocean will outweigh the total number of fish. Ow. Sorry, <laughs> Hold the fucking phone. I oh, oh, that's uh, <laughs> that's camp counselor uh, Spider. Oh my God. Okay, so that is Dahlia in the in in the Scott costume. Oh, 100 percent. Okay, um, who gets to be Admiral Spider Lady? Not me. I'll take it if no one wants it. Go ahead, right. Nick. Miss mm -hmm. Aquino. Next voice then. Oh my god. Why are you interrupting this lovely day at Camp Spooky with your incessant screaming this time? Oh, camp director Miss Wigan. I was absolutely engaged in a camp section pursuit of scout badges. Today, I'm trying to get the badge for noise pollution, so I'm screaming facts about pollution as loudly as I can. Miss Aquino. Art. <laughs> the noise itself is the pollution. You don't need to be making noise about the pollution. Wait, God, that's horrifying. Dan with a towel over his nah, mouth she's screaming cool about fuck. ozone? I'm not screaming I mean, about ozone. I'm saying I it as ooze, and I think ooze is better. <laughs> ozone, All no, you've succeeded no, in doing now is distracting no, and depressing no, the camp population no, when no, they should be no, doing no, fun things like <laughs> manual labor. Get it? Yeah. Camp director, Miss Weaven, I am so sorry. I would never intentionally upset you. I actually have my hoodie in my mouth. Uh, I feel like we knew I that. It. What's wrong, Nikki? Oh, you, we, we knew you had your hoodie in your mouth. We were, we were pretty confident oh. that you had just stuffed it down there. Yeah. yeah. Also, that's that's funny, Fox. It's, Speaking of it's funny. my favorite bit. This is the best bit. <laughs> this stream is brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> when you're here, you're Stanley. That, ooh, I like yeah, it. Like, like that. And hey, as long as you're being Stanley, make sure you keep your lady happy by making sure that you use our Manscaped products. <laughs> Manscaped. When you're Why are we? No, you, Kyle, that doesn't. You can't just do the ad when they're not paying us for the ad. You got to make fun of them. Pay us to do the ad. As a, I, I had a female up, leader, Casper Mattresses give you AIDS. You are a role model of mine. Well, Miss Aquino, I do respect you. Oh, sorry. I do respect your respect for me. Which is why I'm going to confiscate the thing you crave most. My approval. Rip. Take my phone! Take my face! Take everything! Just don't take your approval! Too late, it's been confiscated. You may have it back when you have <laughs> earned it. <clears throat> when you're here, you're Step Stanley. Oh, step no. Stanley, what, what are you do? doing? Can't bear to be a camp sneaky if I'm gonna respect of a terrified female authority figure. If Scott leaves summer camp, or sorry, if Scott leaves summer camp, she leaves behind her possibility to be your summer honey. When you're here, your family. Luckily, you know the best way to gain Weaving's approval. This Show your admiration be by developing some spider skills, knit a sweater with your butt. That's gotta be charm or creativity. Or creativity. Obviously, the bottom one is. Or become a or doctor. Become a doctor. <laughs> Which is any, probably any, anyone smart? else. Anyone I think else? we get to pick the butt answer. But you pick up, pick up on It's always the a good day when you get to pick the butt answer. One hundred percent, I agree with you. When's the beta release of Gay FK <laughs> Arena going to be available? <clears throat> Yesterday. Oh, hold on. <clears throat> 
<laughs> the only monster I know with a more powerful booty than mine is Polly. So she threw that ass in a circle and she until she reached Clout Heaven. Can you be my assistant, Blarthus? <laughs> Can you say Blarthus one more time? Blarthus. Thank you. Oh, Blarthus. Sounds like he just had oral surgery. It does. Just, <laughs> just take the yarn and needles and put them in between my <clears throat> muscular buttocks. You do. It's kind of weird, but also kind of erotic. Erotic in the sense that you're close to touching Scott's butt. Weird that it's because you're helping her knit a... Eh, helping her knit with it. Camp director, Miss Raven, check this out! <laughs> Dan, when you do the Scott voice, all I can think of is you just being in an 80 movie, like an 80s movie. I just can't, like... You just strike me as that one kid who just, like... I don't know how else to describe this, but like he's quiet right for the whole movie, but then at the end you realize his voice is just him yelling and that's why he never spoke. I just picture him getting red and sweaty. Yep. I'm not red or sweaty right now. Yeah, I liar. We're on day one. You're always <laughs> red and sweaty. That's true. True. I'm concerned to say the least, Miss Aquino. But soon all of her concerns are... You can do it. Sausaged as Scott begins to acid it with the power of Grace and Olympic figure skater Michelle Kwan. Right. Sorry, I don't know any other figure skaters. Yeah, he, I didn't uh, even look at it and I knew it was I a can't swage. see it. <laughs> All it says is meetgoogle.com is sharing a window. I can't believe we're streaming this on Google. Do you want to take those over, Kyle? Because I can't read the <laughs> bottom lines. Scott grabs you to steady yourself as she picks up speed. And once again, you're into it because Scott's touching you while doing butt stuff. But yeah, <laughs> still weird. Sausaged. <laughs> Finally, Scott finishes and hands camp director Miss Weaving a stunning sweater and blazes with the words, Forgive me, senpai. Yeah, what is? Oh, fuck. Please, camp director Miss Weaving, give me back your approval. I've been so lost with that in my whole life ever since you confiscated it. Ten minutes ago. <laughs> I promise to never misinterpret that one specific instruction ever again. And the next time I mess up, it'll be something completely different. Miss Aquino, I must confess, I am floored by the beautiful work you have done here today. And by this finely crafted apparel, you should be very proud of what you've made today. I know I am. Oh, I love her glasses. I never noticed that. Mm. They have little spider glasses on the top. <clears throat> Wham bam spider glasses, Nikki. Yeah. You're giving me a pool back? Yeah. You've earned it. I look forward to your inevitable next <clears throat> screw up. Perhaps then I'll get a tea cozy. Yes! Blood this! We did it! How can I ever thank you? Whoa! I know! Come close to me! Oh dear. Oh, sir. <laughs> Spider slam. And put those needles back in my butt so I can hit you a sweater or two. <laughs> oh my god, my throat. She does. It's the best butt knit sweater you've ever owned. It even has a heart on it, which you definitely plan on reading too much into. You get plus two charm and plus one fun. This is what I get for not having a voice last time we played this. <clears throat> yep. Everybody chooses a movie. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. So this go one is Dan, Dan versus Nick. I'm so it going seems. to go with the foreign film Ratatouille. Um, I'm going to go Ratatouille. with Jingle All the Way with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Ooh. Nice. Yeah. Both classics. Powerful. Beautiful movies. Put that cookie down. Am I right, boys? <laughs> Put that you ran out down. of ideas for tonight's campfire story. Player order is decided based on how easily you can fool your fellow campers by retelling this movie's plot without anyone noticing. Start debating now. <laughs> I would see both of those happily in theater. That's true, but that's not what we're debating. I could see spinning Ratatouille in such a way where I could convince somebody that it's something that happened. You'd have to leave out a lot of stuff, like the rat controlling the guy, but if I could see myself spinning a yarn about a, a, a guy who hates his job while he's working at this fancy five-star kitchen as a, as a as a busser so he just lets a bunch of rats in there and then it gets shut down yeah and the, i could turn that just... into into a thing and have you guys not realize it's the plot of ratatouille basically i could see I that but i could also see that if i told you a story about 
how my dad went through almost literal hell and became a superhero to get me the toy I wanted for Christmas. Yeah, how I could turn toy, that into a campfire story. What toy would that be, story. Nicholas? What, what toy would that, that be? If our story had Sinbad in it, no one would think it was a real movie. That's true. Why are you voting against yourself? Um, I, I would say that the toy was Stretch Armstrong. And then my well, dad became Stretch Armstrong. I would immediately clock bullshit on this and then call you out as soon as you got to the point where your dad started yelling at Phil Hartman over the phone. Phil Hartman. About putting down the cookie. I or know just who's he was gonna busted. get that figure. Also, what's up, Caroline? Guys, just give me the vote. You know I'm right. Come on. Just do random. the right thing. All right, we're going random. Boo! First gen Cowards wait. There are two... <laughs> Fine. Good. The universe is just, I guess, but... Coward's way out when there's two people, Kyle. <laughs> Nighttime. <sighs> Where do you guys want to sit? Wow. wow. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I really don't know. What's the best? What do we do? I don't know what the best action is because I'm just <laughs> well, rolling you, you can the either go for the risk of points. You could sit with us and we could gain points together. Or you could just, you know, go sit with with Mothman and or, make up a story. Aren't there yeah. things? Aren't there things to do when you sit with with Mothman? Yeah, you can yeah, either get a negative Mothman stat ending. buff or that. a positive stat buff, depending on your options. Oh, uh, there's also an ending, but we already got it. Or yes. right. hear me out. If you guys <clears throat> sit with Milo and Cal, and we sit on the other side with Dahlia and Joy, we mm -hmm. get to see everybody's costumes. Oh, true. That is scientifically a fact. I mean, I do love Milo. Because we don't know what Milo and Cal are dressed as yet. And we might not and even see them. Joy. You haven't seen the summer camp version? Well, Caroline, this isn't even monster <laughs> camp. This is monster porn. It was an update where everything gets messed up. So all the names are different. All the characters' designs are different. It's just a, a clusterfuck. Yeah, if this so is the I first time you've it. seen it, it's going to be some real shit. Yeah. Suda says Cal is a great costume. So it's up to you guys. Where do you want to sit? Said, I just, I don't care where we sit. I just want to do a voice that, because that's my out. only voice so. Far. I want to do a voice that's not the Vera voice, because that's my only voice so far. Well, I mean, you have two potential new hires over here. Yeah, but those are both Danny classics, and I don't feel right taking. Oh, no, he got like Dahlia. That. No, you know what? He got Dahlia, so I'm taking Milo. It's fucking. Ooh. Yes. All right. I mean, I didn't take Dahlia. But but are it, you did though? Are you confirming that you want to sit there? Costume. Would would the both of you like to confirm you want to sit there? Because I don't want to select it and then have you both get huffy. I'm never huffy. Go for it. I mean, we could just for the hahas. I don't think we're going specific here. I heard two no. yeses. We're in it for the <gasps> lols. Mm. Oh, he's Maria. Please That's please. cute. Oh, as God shit. Damn. Oh, all right. Well, you know what? Here's a good I'm excuse so to do a thing. Ah, Daniel, you want to take this uh, narrator <laughs> shit for me? Say what? That knuckle yeah, yeah. crack come through, you, by the way. Did that pick up? And, you find Louis, Louis and Marmanda drinking enough oh, wine love it. to bleed France dry. Which is odd because, you know, Marmanda doesn't have a mouth. So now we know that Joy was the poly ghost. I love How do we know that? We haven't, we haven't selected it yet. Holy that's the only character we haven't outfit. seen yet. But what if it was Have another character that was new? It's not. Go it's ahead. It's not. <clears throat> well, well, now I have to do this, and I'm just so tickled that this is how this worked out. Uh, I have to say, I think the natural Christmas of this Pinot Grigio pairs nicely with the gooey, processed sweetness of the toasted marshmallows. Yet the Soraya's smokies, smoky undertones are undoubtedly a perfect complement to the burnt weenie. What are your thoughts, Mamanda, darling? You're just so glad you got to do Liam again, aren't you? I had to say burnt weenie and Marmanda in a sentence. I'm fucking mad. <laughs> um, so, Dan, do you want to do you want to take a minute to recover, or what do you want? Yeah, I'm I'm taking a round off. <clears throat> So, Kyle, do you want it, honey? <laughs> I love the wig haphazardly hung up. Oh, yeah, no, it's you pretty perfect. It's uh, do, I go, do I go with Cal or do I go with a Miranda? Miranda. You, you, do, your, you do your best is what you do. <laughs> I think that a nice box of red wine is exactly what I need to relax after an exhausting PTA meeting and thoroughly unsatisfying lovemaking session with my husband, Greg. 
I was gonna say you laboriously type it into a text to speech thing, set it to female, and then <laughs> play that. That, okay. that works too. Cal doing a Miranda voice. Yeah, I agree. I still want to do that. I want to do that for one of our playthroughs on YouTube. Whenever Cal shows up, just I really like. I'm sure someone's already made a text to speech. Easily. I don't give a shit. We haven't done it. And we're famous. Good point. What on earth are you talking about? Oh, sorry. Was my meaning not clear enough? Perhaps this minion meme will suffice to explain my thoughts. Oh no, I, I love I loved Cal, but sorry, Cal. Look here, it says I whine because my kids whine. What a clever little pun! Oh, that hurts me. Oh no, the Zuck got to him. He got zucked, guys. This is a problem. I, I, where? Are you getting your Somalia information from? I don't think it's a terribly credible source. My canon is that Cal downloaded my Miranda voice pack, so now he just sounds exactly like my Miranda. I can see it. Ah, damn it, it works too. <laughs> Sigh, I feel you're right, friend Louie, but I have no taste buds, and so I have resorted to Google searching I love wine in order to formulate my critique. <laughs> <clears throat> Nick, I know you're not gonna, but you should put like a little voice filter all, all over all of Cal Miranda's lines. <laughs> oh, that would take so much effort that I'm not willing to put in. But I dearly wish to participate somehow. It seems that the bitter tastes of wine and divorce are integral to the organic experience. How can I be a part of it? Pseudo, Pseudo got a request that you give it more of a robo pace. You think you can rock that, Kyle? Next line. Only one way to find out. Fair enough. <laughs> Hmm, what a fascinating aesthetic question. Truly, how can a wholesome computer boy enjoy a wine tasting? How should we do this? Well, this one is mostly like there's no wrong answer. It depends on who you're trying to woo. So who do you want to have? Who do you, who do you want to have more jokes? <laughs> wine tasting it, isn't about point. taste. It's about the drama. How does the wine make you reflect on the fleeting, <laughs> flavorful joys of life? It's okay, Cal. Nobody actually drinks wine in a tasting anyway. Just swirl it around and throw it two random adjectives together, and people will think you're cultured as hell. Mm. Pseudo has the fair Honestly, play. Honestly, I want to go with the bottom see more of? Of. <laughs> Either way, I get to keep doing the, the, the voice that everyone either really likes or really hates, so... You know, yeah, I think that both six, of you are probably six and one. Am I right? <laughs> of more yeah. Mylolium, I imagine. Yeah, Mylolium, Mylolium, My, yes. Mylolium. Got a whole garden full of Mylolium's, guys. I'm <laughs> so I think the top one would probably be that then. It's the next raid boss and raid shadow legends. This video Ooh. brought to you by Nord VP. Go, go on. So, which one would you guys like to choose then? I don't know, top one. Who cares? I mean, if I choose the wrong one, you're gonna get mad. I don't care. I don't want Colin to get mad. They both said the top. Nick, why would you pick that one, you idiot? To be fair, I do have your voice saying that to pick the top one, you don't care. Yeah, and that was the that was the goof. You we dink. got it right. That was the funny haha. -ha I, I know. I was trying to. Never mind. Read. A brilliant point, Roger Bryan's. It's true. Wine is the flavor backdrop for so many beautiful life events and life-ending events. Don't drink and drive, kids. I've once witnessed countless lovers confessing their feelings over... Mid... Midoc? Mid I don't know. Midoc? Mid 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 yeah. Wine. <laughs> Friends <laughs> toasting the good fortunes with a nice pre-dinner reasoning. Or author. I don't know. Whatever. Reference I don't it. get. Moving on. And so many unforgettable kings poisoned with a bit of belladonna slip. Yeah, with a bit of belladonna slipped into their port. Such a flair for the dramatic. <coughs> yes, my man, <Amanda>, darling. <laughs> Sorry, I really like that name. This is the heart of the matter. It's not about the wine's flavor. It's about the feelings it makes you feel. Like inspired or poisoned. 
The poison for Cusco. Cusco's poison. Ah, yeah. <laughs> All of Colin's voice lines are coming together. Okay. I feel confused. You don't feel anything. You're a robot. Good, good. Mm. Here, this Merlot is an old favorite of mine. It pairs perfectly with perplexity. Oh, okay. I think I understand. Or rather, I don't understand. But perhaps that is the objective. Yeah, Kyle, go back, to the, go, go back to the normal voice. That was yeah, it's just, weird. That's I unsettling. Like it. I, I don't think anyone liked it. I didn't like it. <clears throat> Quite right, darling. And for you, Roger Bryans, I have a delightful Prosecco. It's bubbly and perceptive, just like you. Just but like not like me. Colin, who can't read. <laughs> He's illiterate. <laughs> Louis winks at you. You hope it's flirtations and not because they poisoned your wine. I guess you'll find out in a few minutes. Okay. No need for apologies, Sudo. <laughs> It was it was worth a whack. You want to go Dahlia, Kyle? Yeah. Yep. Confirm. Confirmation. Confirm you sit down between a classic Scott X Poppy exchange. Scott is being very intense and excited, and Poppy looks like she'd walk over a bed of hot coals if it would shut her up. Up. Oh, there we go. Come on, Poppy. I'd be a great addition to the coven. I've already memorized all your moves, your favorite catchphrases. I even bought the limit limited edition. Kawhi third home phone case off eBay. What more do I need to do? I I literally could hear Dan jizz in his pants after saying that. I just just wanted to bring that out there. He broke stud out his wallet as soon as he heard limited edition. <laughs> Uh, how about a witch? Or having even the slightest bit of foresight and subtly, bleh, subtlety to your plans. Be subtle. Look at me. I'm in subtle right now. Watch as I inconspicuously nudge you towards inviting me to the coven. Now please let me into the coven. I want this so badly. Feels like a lead into the Baba Yaga situation. Yeah. <laughs> We don't need a fourth member. Three is the number of the triple goddess, which is not a force that can be broken. Also, we only have three main character slots available. If we open a fourth network, we'll be forced to establish a union. I'm sure there's something I could do. Maybe I could be your body double for the really intense fight scenes. I mean, we're basically twins already. <laughs> uh, now. Oh, come on! Look, I already have a poppy wig that I can wear! God, what would that look like? Oh, Is that dude. real like hair? Some, some fourth wall shit. Hell yeah! I've been collecting it slowly while you slept, so that I can be prepared for this exact situation, which show, which should show you just how committed I am to the cupboard. Poppy looks halfway between exasperated and disturbed. But God, Scott's just so cute when she's irresponsibly passionate about something. You know she's not going to drop this till she gets a satisfactory answer, but which of them do you want your answer to appeal to most? You can be a Coven sleeper agent, so go to sleep and we'll let you know when you're needed. Or, the Coven's last season was too grim. This season we need more sex appeal. You could be the irresistible blue seductress who distracts the villains. I feel like the bottom one is the best answer, also the one we need. Correct. I had a thought. Go ahead. Scott's a werewolf. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. That is a big old costume of Scott. Yep. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Fur suit, yes or no? Go. Hmm. Yeah. Right? It does have yeah. the eyes Chat. of a fursuit. Oh, no, y'all think about it. Chat, do with that what you will. Guys, proceed. What? But that doesn't... Hello, baby, I'm in. But we don't need a seductress. That role is definitely already fit. Er, I mean, it's completely unnecessary. No, it makes perfect sense. I can distract villains with my rippling pectorals and raw sexual energy, and you can fight them when they're not paying attention. Okay, but- Colin, can you give us an actual Dahlia saying raw sexual energy, please? 
raw sexual energy. Thank you. But what? I mean, you are going to fight them, aren't you? It's not like you're having a torrid love affair with any of your enemies, right? Uh, distinction a distinction is, is that Dahlia said she did take her hair to make the Joy costume, so it does go hand in hand with that she took Scott's hair to make this costume. That's th that's not canonical. I just feel that's the right answer. Yeah? Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah. Tracks. <laughs> nope, what are you talking about? That'd be crazy. No way! I hated it. I loved that. <laughs> okay, good. Now, let's talk about some important stuff here. I respect Dimitri, and he's got decent apps, but our relationship probably can't go anywhere beyond platonic. So what do you think the odds of you convincing that sexy purple gummy bear Liam <laughs> to be your enemy again? 50%? 80%? Fox says, as a furry, my professional opinion is not a fursuit. It would be if he was transformed, but this is the standard Scott. Okay. Fair. Fair. Thank you, Fox, for an actual... I was not... I didn't even think of that. Thank you. <laughs> it's good input. Well, we need the pros. We got the pros. Daniel, read that now. I mean, I could burn his house down and leave a note saying that the coven did it if necessary. Anything for the cause. Just keep looking up at the, or her nose. <laughs> That's pretty great. The suit's nose, Nikki. Sorry, the suit's nose. And then you just see, you just see one of Dahlia's eyes peering down into your soul. <laughs> Poppy giggles nervously while Scott babbles on about statistics and Orson. Hey, maybe burn Poppy's house. Poppy's his house down. There's a 100% chance Scott will seduce you. Just saying. Bring out your flasks. All right, so we're going to make our choices. Correct. <clears throat> cool. This Dan, one. this is in your hands because I got no idea how shit works. No, you guys okay. get to pick. We're just choosing items that we purchased. Yeah, it's random. Oh, crap. They don't oh. tell you what they are. You just have to guess. Yeah, right? Do they have the names if you stay scrolled over? I think the Doom Parent Yan was one that we got last time. I have it open just to be sure. <gasps> oh, wow. Hey guys, is that's, that a that's love a fun potion one. number nine? Uh, uh so that that no, we don't want love potion number nine. That just gives you like plus stat art. boost. Yeah, I know, but I just I looked at it and I was like, oh, I guess. Like, and the, that one, the, the, I remember the the doom, the one you were hovered over apparently made Kyle gasp really hard, and I feel like that's probably a good idea. That is a a quest item uh, that that you probably want. Okay, do just it. Do it. Bet. You'll be very pleased. <laughs> Wait, no, that was, yelling, oh, I don't no, that was yell. ours. Never mind. So which one did we want, Kyle? Because I forget which one it is. Uh, the genie flask, because we haven't gotten the flask ending. Yeah, we've only gotten the flask ending for Cal. Okay. So. And I know that doing these unlocks more other endings. Yeah. <coughs> more blah, blah, other blah. endings, you say. Ooh, plot line. Yes. Bottle, of, don't you dare open it. Whoever drinks from that flask will be doomed. You don't. You keep it, though. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? Plot line. Now what? This is the part where I leave before you puke all over me. I ciao. Do I need to do I need to open a, a, a walkthrough here? I mean, uh, I'm just I'm just going to check how to, like, get it going just to make sure that nothing F's up. Well, while you do that, everybody chooses a fictional character. So your choice out route to the rest of the players before clicking. Unfortunately, it's Kyle's turn this time and Colin's turn. Oh, goodness. Um. The two people who were going to do research. I'm going to say. Uh, Toph Beifong. All right, so wow. we're going to go with Grandpa Powerful. Beifong. No. I mean, clearly you didn't see her in Korra. She was the best character. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't watch all of Korra. I plan on you it very soon. You are factually broken, and I'm sad at you. I mean... So nothing has changed. I never, is that no, here? I never finished Corey either, Nick. To you're be both, fair, you're both awful people. Well, don't blame me. I was watching it with Dan and Laura, and then well, I mean, neither of them have stopped. TV shows that they watch, so that's that. That literally is your is my fault next for choosing to watch, to watch it with them. I'm not even alive. I don't know what you're talking. Yeah, Dan's about. not even alive. Right. You can't blame him. Dan's been that's dead Dan since dead. 1978. So Kyle, who is your fictional character? He's just a ghost we've been conjuring. Um, 
Mm -hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, Freakazoid. One more time. Freakazoid. All right, so Freakazoid and Top Peipong. Player order is decided based on which character you'd least likely share a tent with for a week. That's an easy oh, win. Kyle, yeah, I mean, you? Top seems like she would play a lot of tricks on you, but I feel like Freakazoid wouldn't even oh, let you have the tent. Top seems like she'd play tricks on you. Well, I mean, yeah, You're but like... You're in a tent with Freakazoid for a week. You think, like, night one he try and drag an elephant in there or something. You know what, Colin? Toph's, I'm gonna have to agree Toph's with you. Gonna, You're Toph's right. Gonna set, Toph's gonna yeah. set you up some cool-ass, like, rock it's furniture to hang out around. Wait, least likely? Yep, you're right, Colin. Yeah. That was a great call, Colin. I appreciate your forthright position on that. Oh. Well, I, hey, you know what? Guess what? I'm still right. <laughs> <laughs> I can yeah. read a thing wrong and still be right. That's that's how good I am. All right, Kyle. If there's one thing I learned from the last Monster Prom we played, or sorry, Monster Camp, well, no, it's yeah, to yeah, always Monster trust Kyle. Has nothing to do with it. <gasps>